Hey gang, we're here. Uh, I'm Al Wong. This is Paul Danis. And we're, <laughs> we're actually doing an unboxing today of the Omigo product. Whoa, what the heck is this? <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. You are about to join the Clean Butt Club, and that's not my language that they're... That's theirs? Yeah, the Clean Butt Club. Why Clean Butt? Because this is a... Believe it or not, a bidet. So this is no. the first time I, I, I'm seeing it. Basically, this is their entry-level version, which... Basically, retrofits on top, right underneath your toilet lid. Uh, toilet lid, and uh, it's the entry level because they actually have a fully function version that has heated seats, adjustable settings, a sanitary option. But as you can see, these two parts here would go right underneath the uh, pegs that attach the toilet lid to the bowl. Uh, these are the jets that would actually come out and hit you right where it counts. <laughs> and yeah, you got then, a front and a rear and setting. There's a, and, then, and there's a front and a rear setting. Uh, so uh, I suppose that would be for men and women. Enough said about that. <laughs> yeah, it's a little, little bit awkward, but, but, but these are, these are yeah. kind of catching on. Yeah. Uh, obviously used a lot in... Uh, well, I have to tell you, many years ago, I traveled through Turkey, and they based every single toilet yeah. in that country. They had jury-rigged a little valve, very simple, that came off the fill valve for the tank, but another one just actually shot into the back right underneath, right underneath the sink. It was, um, you know, water, room temperature water, so not the most comfortable, not as nice if it were heated, but uh, it's a very simple option. and. It took years, but somebody actually started to tackle this problem, this company. Yeah, to avoid, if you've ever looked at a bidet for, for your house, you'll, you'll, you'll discover right away that the problem that we have in the United States is that we don't have a, an outlet that's right by the toilet. So most people don't. I, I, I was offered one of these to test a long time ago, and I said, my wife's never going to let me run an extension cord over our sink, you know, down into the Absolutely, toilet yeah. for the long term, even if though, even though and, she'd love to have a bidet. And I'm house. glad you mentioned that because uh, I was going to order that version, um, and, but I just don't see the 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 pro, the stopper is the availability of a 110 outlet. Most people, if you in fact go home and look around your toilet. Yeah. You probably don't have a 110 outlet against the wall, which would be the same wall where the tank is ideally, even close by, most people yeah. won't have one. And the prospect of adding one is probably not a good idea. Right. So an extension cord just doesn't seem appealing <laughs> really, you know, to yeah. anybody. Right. Um, but, uh, you know, it comes with the hardware. But, well, the, but the big difference here is you're not, you, you don't need electricity because you you're not going to get hot water. You're you not going to get a heated seat. And it's you're only get $60. Hot water. You're, you're, you're just going to get... The water pressure off of your tank. Right. This is clean a water, not water from the toilet, but water from the exactly. Right so of so the wall. you just attach this to the wall, so the the water would go into the tank and fill the tank as it normally does, and then also would be directed to this right. both front and front and back. So I'm going to be installing this tomorrow, um, and I'll be sharing more with you, and we'll be following. We'll come back and do what we'll do a, a, a follow up. Uh, but everything uh, looks pretty clear in the box, and it comes with its directions as well. Multilingual. Okay. Okay. See you shortly.